Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of my tutorials on whaling. Um, in this part I decided I'd um, get a different type of keylogger to show you guys. Um, pr probably a bit harder one because as you can see oh, I've got it open, all open and everything. But this time we haven't got any methods that are called um, anything to do with decoding. So obviously we're going to have to um, look through and try to find that for ourselves. So once you've got it opened up in there. Um, the first thing as usual you check the variables and you can see that this one looks completely different than the one we did in the last part um, Basically you can see down here that it says smt.gmail.com whatever but around there there isn't any um, Proper encrypted strict well there is because we've got these ones here But I won't go into detail about that because it's easy to do it this, this other way but um, As you can see here, we haven't got it didn't simply set out like it was before so um, this time again, look in the variables for a method. Well, for something that declares that calls upon a function to get something with two arguments. Um, if you look here, it's, this is a function here, and it's got two arguments. You're always looking for something with two arguments because it's going to be the encrypted string and then a key. Um, so what we're going to do here, we can see that here there's two lots here, and that just looks like to me a username and password two encrypted strings and two keys so I'm just going to click this function to see where as you can see the function is the same on both as well so that's likely to be a decoding function so we're going to just click the function as you can see straight away here we can see that it's got all decrypt here and strings like that in here so it's this is highly likely going to go and be the decrypt here method so I'm just going to copy that yeah, I saw some people having some troubles in the last tutorial as well. Make sure you change this up here to whatever you're coding in. I'm um, in Visual Basic, so. Um, this is the project source that we had last time, so I'm just going to delete this um, triple DS decode function. And we can see that we've got some areas here, and this is because with this type of thing, we don't need this stuff to do with project data and stuff. So we can just get rid of that entirely, and it'll still work perfectly. Um, you can see we've got return str, but str hasn't been given a value, so we'll just set this to um, 1. And that's if, um, for example, if um, there is an error or something, it'd give just the value 1 in the box. Um, now we need to change this triple DS decode to whatever this function is called up here. And then we'll run it. And this is going to be a bit of a quicker tutorial than the one um, last time. Simply because it's I don't have to go through the basics and it's simply just showing you a different type of keylogger. Um, as I mentioned in the last part, some do declare, like this one, it... Um, uses a function to get the ver to get the variable um, values rather than declaring them and then decrypting them after um, so if you if it's like this which is a ha another high percentage of keyloggers then you can do it pretty easily um, in this one you can see that the keys are different so we're going to have to you can't use the same key on both so we're just going to copy this string the encrypted string second argument is the key um, just make sure you haven't copied any quotation marks or anything like that because I know that was sort of giving some people errors when they didn't put a catch in um, decrypt and there's the email address just to show you that it works and we'll get the password now remember you're going to need to change this key because this key won't be the same there's the password. Um, it's really that simple. Um, Why well, am I maximizing it? Um, this is just one more type of keylogger. I'll probably um, go through one other type of keylogger in the next part and then maybe do some advanced things in part five and then I think that should do. I mean it's not a hard process. Um, once you've got the gist of it you'll just be able to look around the program and just find things that look right. Just remember if it um, doesn't look like the one we did last time and it's something like this and it nothing's really obvious look for something with two arguments if it's got two arguments it's highly likely it's going to be a decoder or something especially if the strings look like the passwords i mean all most keyloggers the password will end in two equals because it's coded in um, well encrypted in base 64 last which is obviously the two equals so 
just look around i mean you could if you there's no harm in just clicking random functions i mean that was using that function as well but if we just click a random string whatever if you just start clicking around you'll get the gist of where where everything is and hopefully you'll be able to find it quickly but as you can see with something like this we can decrypt create a decryptor and actually get the decrypted strings in like under 30 seconds so um i think that's about it for this part um yeah thanks guys